Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today we have a beginner leg workout. You can make this a little more advanced by adding weights to the exercises. For the purpose of this video, however, we're doing a beginner leg workout. It's gonna be completely body weight orientated. Orientated? Oriented, I don't know. Anyway, we're starting about 20 seconds. We're gonna start with goblet squats. For goblet squats, I like to use some to elevate my heel. This exercise, I'm gonna use a two by four. You can use a book. So just stand on it, get your legs very close together, narrower than shorter width, shoulder width, and we're gonna get started in five seconds, four seconds. We're doing this for one minute. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice, and all the way down, and all the way up. One minute long intervals. Remember to keep good pace. Basically try to follow along with me. Not too fast, not too slow. This is Fit After 50, and our main thing here is to get in shape while we can repeat these workouts without getting injured or fatigued too much or stressed. We just wanna stay strong, be strong, and be consistent. Anyway, 30 more seconds left. We're going one minute on for all the exercises. We have 10 different exercises, and we're going 20 second rest. Keep everything nice and tight. Once again, if you had a weight, you can feel free to grab a dumbbell here and just do a goblet squat with a dumbbell. We have 10 seconds left. If you don't, we're doing this body weight only today. Five, four, three, two, one, last one and up. All right, I can put my elevated heel instrument away. I'm getting down on the ground for some glute bridges. Glutes are important to work on. Strong glutes alleviate a lot of the knee pain. So kind of about A apart. You're gonna lift up. And now, so it's about a 90 degree here. And let down. Up, squeeze that butt. And down. Up, squeeze, down. Up, squeeze, down. Up, and down. Up, squeeze up, and all the way down. Good job. Up and down. We have about 30 seconds left, maybe a second or two more, and down. Squeeze and down. Good job. Keep it up. Down. Up. 20 seconds left, guys. Keep going. Up, squeeze, and down. Make sure you get a good squeeze at the top. Hold it for a split second, and then down. 10 seconds left. We're almost there. And down, squeeze up, down, two seconds, one, and we are done. All right, let's move on. We're moving down to a slow squat. So for the squat, I'm also gonna elevate my heel. It allows a little bit of better range of motion and also is easier on the knees. So for the squat, I'm gonna spread my legs out a little bit more. I'm gonna keep my arms in front and we're going down nice and slow. Nice and slow, hold it, and come back up. Nice and slow. We're not gonna be doing that many reps. I want you to stay in control the entire time. Hold it, and back up. Let's go. 15 seconds took us two reps. We're going to see if you can do it a little bit slower. And up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold on the bottom, and come back up. Nice and easy. A lot of tension on those muscles. Come, work with me. And up. We have 20 seconds or so left. Let's do three more, no more than that. So nice and slow pace, and up. Hold it on the way down, hold it on the way down. Frank, this my arms pointing towards me, and up. We got 10 seconds left, let's do it real slow. Real slow. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, hold it, and up. Boom, there we go. Another exercise done. I can put my plank away. And we are going for some hamstring work. So in a glute position, glute bridge position, gonna walk those legs out and you're gonna walk them right back. So ready? Three, two, one. Keep those hips up high and walk those legs out. And then walk them back. Work, work those hamstrings with me. Walk them all the way back and walk them out. Feel those hamstrings pulling right, and walk it back. Walk it out. 
hold it and walk it back. There you go. And out. Pull on those hamstrings, hold it and back. There you go. Let's go. A little more than 20 seconds left. Keep it up. Hold it, feel that pull and walk it back. All the way back. Nice glute bridge and walk it out. Keep everything nice and tight and tense, tight core and walk it back. Good job. Last one. Last one, best one, come on. Walk it out, feel that hamstring and walk it back. All right, that was great. All right, we're moving on to standing leg workouts. Exercises, not workouts. We're doing forward, forward lunges. So once again, if you have weight, weights with you, you can hold it like a goblet, you can just grab the dumbbells. We're doing it, I'm doing it without any weights. Today is a body weight workout. Just gonna alternate legs going forward, ready? One and back. Little step, one and back. Little step, so from the side it looks like this. Little step and kneel down, boom. Little step and back. Step, back. Looking good, back. Down, try to stay as upright as you can. Just kneel down and come back. Kneel down and come back, that's it. Keep going, we have 30 seconds left. And back, down, back. Good pace, good work. Let those legs do the work. Boom, and stand up with that quad. Down and push on that quad, boom, off the floor. Back. Keep it up, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And guess what, we went backwards. No, what am I talking about, I am backwards. We went forward, now we're going backwards. That's what I meant to say. All right, 10 seconds left, catch your breath. Same thing, but in reverse. Little step back and just backwards, all right? Three, two, one, and let's go. Step back and forward. Back once again, if you had a weight, grab them right here. Make it a little more difficult. This is not challenging enough for you. Or you can start with the weight and then drop it halfway through, quite all right. And back. Back. Keep it up. Backward lunges. Thirty seconds left. Stay with me. Little steps back. Stay nice and upright. Like I said, back, back. There you go. Keep it up. Fifteen seconds. Keep walking. Keep lunging. Five seconds, three, two, one, and we're done. All right, now we're gonna do some pigeons. So I'm gonna have to grab onto something because I always fall over doing this exercise. Just gonna lean forward and lean back as far as you can. Working on those glutes and on those hamstrings once again. Like I said, I'm gonna stand next to this wall. You don't have to have a better balance than I do. Arms forward and just go forward as much as you can. That front leg can bend a little bit and come back up. If you could do it without touching the ground right now, that's great. If you have to touch the ground for balance, also great. And back up. I just use this wall right here, a little more than I want to. And back up. Keep going. Down. And up. Halfway done. Nice and easy and controlled. Let those hamstrings do the work and back up. As I get more and more tired, more balance I lose, which is okay. Fight it, fight it all the way through. 15 seconds. And up. There's also, if you have weights, you can grab a couple of dumbbells and hold them in your hands right now. Find your balance and come back up. We got two seconds, one second. I'm gonna call it right here. Take a 20 second break. I really felt that one. I don't know about you guys. But yep, those hamstrings are gonna be sore tomorrow. <sighs> Once again, welcome to Fit After 50. My name is Paul Wilkins. Do come out every Monday and every Thursday. If you're enjoying this after the workout, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment down below. All right, let's get started on the other side. Ready? Two, one, 
and let's go. I always have a fight it harder to balance on my right leg. Down, as far as I can go, as far as you can go, and back up, looking good, guys. Down, and up. Stand on that one leg as much, as much as you can. I'm trying to balance myself as best as I can. Down, lean forward, and back up, oh yeah. 25 seconds left. Down, lean, catch on to something if you have to for balance, don't fall over on camera, and come back up. Down, hold it, and up, that was good, that was good. Got eight seconds left, one nice slow one left, without falling over, three, two, one and back up all right back to the old board go with some calf raises nice and slow going to do one minute on one leg and then one minute on the other leg if you don't have a board you can stand on the ground for these but you get a little more extension if you are he if your heels are elevated obviously so i'm doing a single leg at a time curl the other leg behind and just go up down squeeze down squeeze hold it for a second down up now, squeeze it and back down. Looking good, come on guys. Squeeze, down, squeeze, down. Like I said, if you have to hold on to something, perfectly fine. I'm holding on to something, there's no shame in holding on to anything. I don't care if you're at the gym or you're at home. You do whatever works for you. Remember, the key here is to not get injured, don't fall over, down, up, down. Squeeze it up and bring it down. Looking good, squeeze it up. 20 seconds, bring it down. And up, and down. Up, come on, 15 seconds left. My caps are burning, oh, my calf is burning, I should say. That's okay, let it burn. Up, you'll feel it tomorrow. You feel walking up and down the stairs today. Two, one, and relax, all right. Shake that one out, for me it was the left one. Shake it out, shake it out. We got one more exercise left, same thing. It's gonna be it for the day. All right, 10 seconds. Like I said, nice and elevated heel, or elevated foot, I should say. The heel goes down for a little more extension. We got three, two, one. And let's go up and come back down. And up and down. Up, hold it, down. Bounce right back up, bounce right back up. I shouldn't say bounce. Hit the ground under control, control, and up, control, and up and squeeze it at the top. 40 seconds left. We're almost there, guys. We got this. Up. Looking good. Feeling even better, hopefully. Keep it up. Up. Down. That's it. Up. And down. Squeeze it up. And down. Up. 20 seconds left. Down. Keep going. 15 seconds. Down. Five, four, three, two. Let's do one more. One up, hold it, and on the way down. And let me pull this away so nobody trips over it, mainly me. Thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50, guys. This was our home leg workout. It was a body weight workout. Kind of gear adults over 50, a little bit slower little bit more precise on the movements. Like I said, we don't want to get injured. We want to stay consistent. That is the, going to be the biggest name of the game. So my name is Paul. This is Fit After 50. Make sure you come back for more workouts and I'll see you guys during next workout.